One thing that I am going to do and that uh, triggered all of this mess was um, changing out the oil pressure sensor or sender, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've got the new sensor and that is uh, way behind the intake manifold. So I ended up having to take the intake manifold off to um, get access and I did get a, a special wrench for this or socket. I uh, probably could have pulled it off with the tools that I have considering that uh, I've got the intake manifold off now. But what I do want to do is uh, do a relocation kit for for this sender. So I got all the individual parts. I actually found these part numbers on uh, a forum or discussion because there is a, a kit that you can buy for, I don't know, 125 bucks or something like that. And uh, somebody just kind of asked how you put this together. And these are the individual pieces. And I got all of this from Summit, Summit Racing Equipment. And I will um, put the part numbers in the video. Um, I'm going to put this together now and see how this relocator uh, goes together and uh, make sure that it's ready for my installation. All right, so I'm going to um, kind of piece this thing together lightly so you can see what's going on here. But uh, basically the the 2268 adapter, um, this is what's going to take the place of your sensor down on the, the block or wherever this is mounted. But it does have a crush ring, so you're going to have to make sure that this is um, tight and it just uh, it does talk about um, tighten until the crush ring is flattened do not over tighten so we will make sure that crush ring is in there um, this does have the same thread as the um, oil pressure sensor and it will actually get threaded into well, your pressure sensor will get threaded into this piece, which is the 9894DBJERL. So that's where your, your actual pressure sensor will go. Um, seems a little bit loose in there. Um, and I think the, the washer on there is probably not going to do any good. Uh, in creating the seal, so I'm just going to make it off it, or keep it off. It seems like it bottomed out in there. Um, so we'll take this washer off of the sensor. And it's probably going to bottom out on the threads. And you can see that it, it's going in very loose. So um, I know that these are pressure fittings and I could probably just crank it down and um, it'll be good but I, I do want to put some uh, Teflon tape on the um, the threads so I don't get any leaking or blow by on the threads so that's going to be that piece and here we have the the actual relocation hose and uh, this part number is 6419-1914 ERL. It must be another, yeah, it's another Earl's uh, hose. So that looks like it's not going to take that one. Um, so we'll go from the sensor back down. Uh, we have a adapter here, SUM-220121. And that adapter is gonna go here. And now I can put the hose on there, the 6419-1914 and it probably doesn't matter which way 
which fitting you go into, but I'm sure these are going to need to be tight because it is a, a compression fitting. And then finally, we have to adapt the hose to the, um, the piece that's going to take the place of the, uh, the pressure sensor. So first of all, looks like we have a thread that's going to fit this. And then secondly, this is going to thread into that adapter. And I probably will use some Teflon tape there. Um, that one is not going to be a compression fitting. It's straight through. So I want to make sure that those threads are sealed. So, um, then looks like this will this will swivel um, in the direction that I need it. Although when it tightens up, um, it's probably going to tighten up that that joint. So I want to make sure that when I put this down into the block, that uh, the positioning of the elbow is going to um, point this thing in the right direction. So we'll get that all secured down when it's in the block, but essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna, it's gonna do something like this, where this is the back of the engine and the hose is going to take the pressure sensor around um, the intake manifold. And then um, I am going to have to relocate that electrical connection so I will probably just um, add some wire and just bring it around to the same length that um, this comes out where I can get access to it and get it plugged in. So that's what I got going on here. Um, I'm going to work on getting this back on the vehicle and getting my uh, intake manifold gaskets replaced as well as the throttle body gasket.